Welcome to the next installment of Math on the Move, Prove It versus Got It. When a student gives an answer in mathematics class, do they know whether they are right? What are the implications of this? When we look at the work we do as real math mathematicians, are we required to know whether we have the right answer? Let's use this scenario. You go to buy a carpet for your house, and you are required to know how much carpet you need. Who will tell you whether you have the right amount of carpet? What could happen if you order the wrong amount? Learning in mathematics is changing in a way that's shifting the focus from students giving answers and the teacher telling whether they are right or wrong to students giving answers and then proving how they know they are correct. Let's consider the following question. 16 times 8. How would you solve it? Maybe you lined up the numbers, multiplied the 6 times the 8, put the 8 on the bottom, carried the 4, then multiplied the 8 times the 1 added the 4 to get 12, then put the 12 beside the 8 to get 128. How would you prove that you were right if you did not have a calculator? Does this explanation really tell you whether the student actually knows the answer is 128, or is the student just following a procedure that gets them the right answer? Now let's take a look at what a student in class today might say when asked the same question. Since the question was 8, eight times 16, mm -hmm. I divided the 16 into 10 and 6. So I did 8 times, six, eight times 6 is 48, and 8 times 10 is 80. So I added 80 and 45 together to get 128. Can you explain this to me, this model? Um, I drew a rectangle with 16 uh, for the length and 8 for the width. So I divide 16 into 10 and 6. 8 times 10 is 40, and 8 times 6 is 48. And I added them together, 148. And that's how you know the that's, answer to... That's how I know the answer to 8 times 16. The move in mathematics is underway. Having a student prove their work means that they are reflecting on their strategies and understanding of mathematics, rather than simply repeating a process and waiting for someone to tell them whether they are right. Having a student prove their work will provide them with the confidence they need to excel in mathematics. As a parent at home, you can help too. When working on mathematics with your child, ask him questions like, How do you know you are right? Prove to me how you know your answer is correct. Can you use another strategy to show that your answer is correct? Does your answer match with what you thought at first? If I told you that 126 was the right answer, would you agree or disagree? Why? Remember, a student does not always need to use paper and pencil to prove their thinking. Students encouraged to prove their work could use pictures, numbers, words, or even gestures. Math is on the move. Students in our classrooms are being asked to shift from just doing math to thinking about it. With a greater focus on student thinking and proving their answers instead of just writing one down, our students will become more efficient, accurate, and flexible in their mathematical thinking. Thanks for watching.